Ramadan. Good day. And what a good day it is indeed. So I just uh, generated this new world. I didn't really have high hopes because I don't really have good luck. Oh, that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> um, I don't really have good luck with world generation. But actually, I generated into one of my favorite biomes, which is a spruce biome. The only thing better than this is a mega taiga because it has a pod soul and pod soul is definitely for sure my favorite block hold on right where was i oh yeah so yeah we actually spawned in one of my favorite biomes which is nice if you don't know who i am i am sweaty nico uh this is my channel hi i'm just collecting enough cobblestone for a furnace which is eight a stone sword, which is two, a stone axe, which is three, and a stone shovel, which is one. Oh my god, I thought that was a mob. Oh, well, actually, that sugar cane is super helpful. Um, so, I'm trying to play this very strategically, because in the past, when I've started a Minecraft world, I never play it very st strategically, and I always end up dying like in the first in the first episode which is kind of to be honest kind of stupid and i could easily avoid it if i just used my noggin a little bit <laughs> um so now we've got full sets of stone tools uh let's see where is the sun in the sky nice i can't see it that's that's exactly what I want. We spawn in this pond, by the way. And actually, I see some coal here, which I'm going to collect. Oh, look at how clear the water is. I think I still have my old texture pack um, applied, which is just something that I worked on a little bit in a free photo editor. I just, um, yeah, I edited the um, opacity of the underwater, like, environment and how it looks and also um how much you can see from above water i think it looks really nice i always hated how you couldn't really see um much of anything uh from above the water and you can't even see a lot in the normal texture pack like from underwater and I always hated that because you, because like you can do a lot of really awesome things if you could just see a little better underwater. And so that's why I have this. Yeah, nice little history lesson on, on me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna collect this coal and I'm gonna go to the top of, well, of one of these mountains. I'm sure you guys just don't want to watch me just like walk. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Right, so I made it to the top of this little place here it's, it's a pretty nice view i feel like i feel like i could build like a little nice little house there maybe as a starter house i'm gonna pick up that um the sun well okay so it's past noon minecraft time so i think i'm gonna kill two of those pigs sorry pigs <laughs> but uh I'm going to kill two and I'm going to save two in case I happen to come across a village and some carrots because I can breed these pigs and it's going to be super, super useful. Okay. Or if there's actually, I don't even know how many there are. I might be able to kill more than two. I'm going to start a little pig army, guys, which I'm just going to end up slaughtering anyways. <laughs> That's actually really bad. Uh, right. Right. Okay. So, food. Is that only three or is that eight? First, I want to be able to set up a little mine. I'm going to, again, I want to try playing this strategically. So, I want to set up a mine and I saw a cave back here, which I think we should explore together. It's somewhere, where is it? Come on, don't make me look stupid. Okay, here it is. So, hmm, I'm just thinking of a place to kind of set up a little workstation. I think out here. 
Wow, that sound sounded, well, menacing. <laughs> um, I'm going to set that up. A little crafting table and a little chest. Now, unfortunately, I have not come across any sheep. I do, however, see some iron down there, which is going to be super useful. Uh, so just making sure I have a way up. Because I I could name like a million times where the where it's the beginning of the game and a creeper just comes right behind me and blows me to kingdom come blows me up to kingdom come family friendly channel <laughs> um <laughs> uh and i die and i get really really angry at the game as one does hello spider ow cool first oh I, I see. Uh, okay, this is getting really intense already. Right, I'm going to get out of this cave. Because I can see that going really wrong, really fast. Do you have any pork chops? Yes, I do. Wonderful. Eat one of those up. Um, I'm also probably going to set up a little farm around this. I don't know what. I can't really call that a pond. It's just like a... It's like a pond's baby brother. Yeah. Right. Oh, and I forgot about that freaking sugar cane. Great. Okay. So I'm going to have to go back to find that sugar cane because that's going to be super useful later. Um, I'm also going to break around or break some of these things so I can pick up some seeds. And I'll be back when I have a little more of something. Oh. Okay. I just lied to all of you. Actually, what I'm going to do is... A little something called hiding in a hole here's a little goal for me for this series I want to know how many episodes I want to see how many episodes I can go without actually dying it's probably not gonna be more than like two but I have high hopes I'm somewhat knowledgeable about this game <sighs> all right so I'm gonna just chill out here and uh, maybe maybe just hum myself to sleeping on this stone floor on top of this flaming torch that does not seem like a very good idea <laughs> uh i'll see you guys in the morning right um so the last few clips actually didn't record when i checked the computer and you guys are probably wondering where the heck i am right now uh actually hold up hold up one second mundo they may have actually recorded wait a minute I just thought of something. Uh, uh, I may actually include this just to show you guys how stupid I am sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just kidding. Um, turns out I'm not a to total moron after all. Those clips, in fact, did not um, actually record. So I'm going to just clue you in on what I did since then. We got out of the hole. We explored a little bit. I shared a little bit of, like, quick tips, which, um, if I can remember later in the episode i will clue you guys into um but uh the quick tips for were for when you explore a cave and such um and then i made a little strip mine or i made the beginnings of a strip mine we went all the way down to y equals 11. i also planted some stuff yeah that was about the best recap i've ever done huh. yeah all right so uh, then at the end of the other un unrecorded or just not recorded clip, I said I was going to go on to a one-hour mining session and get as much resources as I can and hopefully find some diamonds. And that um, I'd be back after that to complete the last part of this episode, which was chicken farm, cooked chicken farm, that I found on the internet. Yeah. Nice. I will see you guys after I do this one hour mining session. Goodbye. All right, I'm back. Obviously, it hasn't been very far into the one hour, but um, I swear to you guys, I'm never, ever this lucky, but I just came across diamonds. And that's going to be super important. So before I continue 
the one hour mining session. Please don't tell me this is one diamond. Okay, two. Three, that's a good sign. Four. Five. Six. Could it go deeper? Okay, so six diamonds. That is actually just enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is, that was like a godsend. Wow. I thought I'd have to be freaking mining for ages to find that, but, uh, right. So with that, I can make, I can make myself my first iron pick or diamond pick rather which I am going to do right now because I'm going to need some obsidian uh, for that chicken farm because I'm going to need a comparator, which means I'm going to have to go into the nether. So, because I need a uh, freaking, whatchamacallit, I need the uh, nether quartz. Yeah. All right. Nice. That, that imbues me with a good feeling about this uh mining session i will be back to you at the end of the one hour all right guys sorry i just had to make sure it was actually recording because i just came across a monster spawner but not any monster spawner i came across a skeleton spawner which actually means, oh my goodness, which apparently means that they can still spawn in here. <laughs> uh, I might want to just place a couple more torches around. This is incredibly lucky. Right, so, oh, I was not supposed to check that chest. Pretend that didn't happen. I checked this chest. Now I'm going to check this chest. Looks we got a golden apple. Some more string, which will actually... I'm going to substitute for wool. Because, um, well, now I can make myself a bed and sleep through the night. I think this is a good one. Although, I don't know. Some iron horse armor, that's good. Uh, but yeah, I can make a, I can make a friggin' bone farm from this. This is going to be so useful. I'm going to real quick take a screenshot of these. There we go. Um, yeah, I just want to take a screenshot of those uh, coordinates because I'm going to... This is a project we're going to be working on for a while. Maybe... I don't know if... It, definitely not in the next episode, but maybe in like the next... I'd say about five episodes, maybe. That sounds good to me. Yeah. I'm excited for that now. But um, I've still got about eight minutes left in this mining session. So I'm going to continue on. And I'll see you guys eight minutes from now. <laughs> so, are you guys ready for the massive haul I have made over one hour? So from here to there is what I've, oh, I forgot to <laughs> account for the obsidian, but, um, yeah, so 12 diamonds, 32 blocks of redstone, 4 redstone dust, 46 lapis lazuli, 16 gold, 1 golden apple, a stack and a bit of iron, um, over 2 stacks of coal, the, the other bit is in the furnace, a saddle, music disc, four melon seeds, one iron horse armor, two beetroot seeds, a name tag, and 14 obsidian. <gasps> well, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to set up a nether portal. Would that be in tools, flint and steel? Yes, it would. Right, so we're going to set up a little nether portal like room type room 
Well, screw you, Rain. I'm gonna build this anyways. D I'm just gonna make a really, like, basic... It's gonna be kind of like a diagonal cave. If you understand what I'm talking about. So it's gonna kind of go like... That. And then... It's gonna go straight a little bit. Like, maybe... To about there and then this will be where the nether portal is oh uh, okay now I'm gonna hop in here real quick I have a flint of steel with me or flint and steel so of course I spawn on top of a freaking Wow, that is, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, first of all, I'm running at like 50 something frames a second. I need one piece, oh my god, I almost fell. Okay, I do not know why my computer is struggling so bad right now. I apologize. I need one block of nether quartz. Or not one block. Oh. That's probably why. Nice. Just making it infinitely more difficult. I think also all the fire. Okay, if I if I miss this jump, I'm going to be so incredible. Oh, thank God. I was going to say, I'm going to be so incredibly pissed. Um, right. So that wasn't actually that painless. Okay, I'm going to just pick up this amount. Just in case. I definitely do not know why um, that is running so slowly. I probably have to turn down my render distance. That'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> uh, where's my dirt? My dirt will be my shaving grace. I'm gonna get away from all this fire and um, not funness. <laughs> yeah, this is seriously struggling. Jeez, I think mean, because I've got my recording software running and. Minecraft at the same time, and my ren render distance is way too far for running a recording. Yeah. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do before I actually make, like, the cooked chicken farm is I have to actually find a couple of chickens and just make a straight-up egg farm. Oh, it stopped raining. That's nice. Um, and then I'll probably go, like... I don't know, I'll go AFK for like a few hours or something. And then I'll use the eggs from that AF, from the um, egg farm. I will populate the chicken farm and I'll show you how the chicken farm. Actually, I can't show you how the chicken farm works because I don't really understand how it works. I'm not a super redstone genius. I wish I was, but let's be real, guys. It's me. I'm definitely not. <laughs> um, You know who is, though? The guy who made it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. And you can click on that video if you want to know how to make it. Because it's amazing. And yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, I'm going to go on a chicken hunt now. And wow, my... I, did you guys just see that? My computer just dropped to eight frame, 7 frames a second. I really got to figure this out. Okay, so after a very successful chicken hunt... There are two chickens in there. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to build a really 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 simple uh, AFK egg farm. So, are you ready for it? It's right. So it's you've got a chest. You need another chest for the hopper. You need to make one hopper. Let me turn that music down real quick. It's louder than I thought it would be. Okay. 
You need one hopper. Uh, I would... Actually, I'm not going to make a carpet. I would make a carpet if I had a lot of wool, but I don't. And then all you need to do... I would say use uh, some glass. It's just a chest. A hopper on top of that. And you're going to need to get their, your chickens in there. Right, so... I want to use some building blocks. Uno dos. Oh yeah, this going to look really cool because I've got the texture pack that makes clear connected glass. Oh. Whoa. That's kind of counterintuitive. Come on, guys. Wow, this is actually really embarrassing. Don't make me look stupid on camera. Come on. Hey, there you go. Following your buddy Sveti Nico to your eventual entrapment. Come on. Come on, just a little more. There you go, buddy. Okay. Temporary block there. I need the other one now, though. Come on, you schmuck. Let's go. Let's go, chicken. Is this chicken just stupid, or is he actually, like, really... Oh, no, he's just stupid. Okay. Okay, there we go. Watch that beauty. I did that perfectly. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna go AFK for a few hours collect a whole bunch of eggs in there and then I'm going to use those eggs to populate my uh my like cooked chicken farm when I build it alrighty so the uh 20 minutes are done and I am super curious to see how much uh, how many rather eggs were spawned there okay that's kind of disappointing it's only 10 uh, we should get at least, I think, two more chickens. Eh? Okay. Come on. You have got to be kidding me. That's all? I didn't get a single chicken from that. Okay. Well, that's really embarrassing. Wow. All right. Well, um, uh, on that note, I'm going to go AFK again for like probably two hours and hopefully, hopefully actually get some eggs and chickens and such. Shikapow. Obi KB. It's done. Ta-da. Doesn't have any chickens in it. But now it comes to the fun part. And hopefully luck the lucky part. <laughs> um, I am going to attempt to populate this thing now. And if I'm lucky, we'll have a whole bunch of chickens up there. But knowing my luck, we'll get like two. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alrighty, that's actually really good. So now, once those chickens start, or once the chickens grow up, and actually I can uh, help with that. Where's my seeds? Did you guys know, fun fact, that if you feed a baby animal the type of food that they used to breed, that they can actually, or at least it's supposed to work. They're supposed to be able to, uh, like, grow up faster will grow up.
Are you going to have a new chicken brother? No, you're not. <laughs> uh, on that note, I'll probably go AFK at least once between the next episode. And hopefully by that time, we'll have a whole bunch of uh, cooked chicken. <laughs> and we'll start on um, our first little house. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you really liked it, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.